All right, let's test it. Here we go. Uh, we're digging a trench, as you can see. We're plumbing up this well here to this tank. That works. There's enough to do to keep everybody busy. So this is the temperature reading right here. We're trying to find the center so we can mount it on the post. There we go. It's raining and it's wet, but it's good. We're helping people. A bridge is pretty cool. Engineering Got it. is a team sport. It takes a community. It really means a lot here. The community is going to be, wow, we never thought we could build a bridge, but they did, right? They did it. So now they're going to know that they can do a lot of other things, whatever else is important to the community. I got involved with environmental engineering so I could make a difference in the lives of people. It's such a diverse field that you can have all kinds of different interests and it'll fit somewhere. Engineering takes into effect almost every science. On our project here, we've got chemists, toxicologists, mechanical engineers, you know, every discipline works together to sort of come up with solutions. That's one of the best parts about engineering is the teamwork because you're always working together on some of the biggest problems. There's a role for anyone. If you're willing to go and give your time to a, another community and help out, then Engineers Without Borders is glad to have you. It never ceases to amaze me yeah. how much work you can actually accomplish when you get a whole bunch of people working together for a common cause. Yeah. It's real. The kind of things that I do, uh, you can actually see and people can use. We're in Nemuninge. We are doing water sampling um, to try to understand water quality for the Namwanga village. We get Corella from water. Hey, from water. Our EWB chapter is coming up with a system to convert waste vegetable oil into biodiesel that they can use. We're going to have a better fuel in terms of the environment and probably save us some money in our fuel costs. What we're trying to do here is to mitigate the gray water that's coming down the street here and have this go into a soap pit rather than run down the street. Public health is incredibly important. Clean water, that's really the foundation of, of keeping people from getting sick. This is the river here. It's small right now, but during the wet season, it gets to be like 180 feet wide, so they need a bridge over it to get to the train station and the school. They're not just in a jungle somewhere. They are a very smart people in an area where they just don't have, frankly, the money to put something together. To be truthful, I think I learn a lot from the people that I work from here as much as I help them out. We would like to have their involvement. We'd like to set an example. We'd like to see them carry on. Present a solution that the village can continue to use in the long run. We have to think not only of our children and our grandchildren, we need to think far into the future. Things aren't going to change at all for the better unless the community can help build themselves up. We want them to say it's our bridge yes. and we did it, not it's your bridge yes. and you did it. What we learn from the engineers, we can do it, we can, we can help the community. But I will organize the people to help me so that we will plant. It's more than just the project. It's a empowerment of people working together. The world is bigger. You can go out there and then make a difference. What's important to us is relationships. And as we travel this river together side by side, each in our own vessel, we're to help each other from time to time because that's what people are meant to do. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.